The Truth the Girls. Okay, you ready? The Truth the Girls. Hi everyone, Truth the Girl Sonia here, and I'm here with Gunner, my son. Say hi. Hi. Okay, so what I'm here for today is to give you an update on a video that I did a while ago, which was called Autism at Nine Years Old Kicked Out of School Again. The reason I had this title is that Gunnar here has an autism spectrum disorder, which basically means he has a different operating system. He does not run on Windows. Different. He's different. And uh, he was kicked out of school. The school, let's say, it was a very bad match. And uh, also they had decided not to promote him to grade six. And at the time I was quite upset. You can go see the video. And I just want you to know what happened. Uh, I called the school board. I complained about the, the non-promotion. Gunny, hold on. They, they I wanna, like yeah, I want to stay on track though, babe, so we can get this done quick. I called the school board. I said what I thought about them not promoting him. They had like basically intentionally flunked him by docking his participation marks. They said you need to talk to the principal of the new school. Went to that principal. It turns out that principal has a son himself who is on the spectrum. He was very sympathetic. I explained to him, Gunnar does not re need to redo grade five, in my opinion. And I prayed about it. And in the end, I said, you know, I leave it up to you, to the principal. I left it up to that. I left it up to the principal. And I left it up to God to help us work this out. So that's where this left off. So now Gunnar started New Year at a new school. And he, they didn't put him in grade six. They put him in grade five. And I want to tell you why this is now okay and why sometimes as they say the Lord works in mysterious ways and that although it might really look Kenny please don't I'm it just might, making it no but this is so. orange juice it may sometimes really look like things are not going the way you want and yet um, God is, is hearing your prayers and he's answering them it's just that you can't always see you know how is he answering but but he is he's hearing you and he's gonna answer he's gonna take care of you he's not ignoring you so I, I want to tell you how this worked out at this school. Uh, so Gunnar is assigned now to a special education classroom. You want to tell him about what happened the first day? Um, so you came into your new class and you that, sat down? Uh, uh, yes. You, okay. you go ahead and tell him. And um, I sit down and there's this fat kid with long, down, down here hair and like hi and he's like mm. and I'm like what's your name and he's like I'm Max and I'm like I used to know a kid called Max at the Jewish and it's like Gunner and I'm like Max oh my God, you've gotten so fat over the years. What happened to you? And it's like, oh my God, it's been so long. I'm like, yeah, it has. It's really weird. And it's like, how did that just happen? And everyone in the class is just staring at, the, at us because we were so loud and they're just like. And I want to tell them who Max is. Yeah, and Max is an old friend from six years ago. More like three? No, no, not three. It was like uh, it was, he was it, at no, the no, day no, pro no, they were at the no, day no, program. No, no, together. no, 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 no. It was five. Okay. Five. Alright. So he's an old friend who he had been at the day program with and they had, this was actually Gunnar's first friend, like his first real friend, and actually his best friend. And then they went their separate ways, they went to different schools, they lost touch. And here they are all these years together and they're sitting next to each other in this classroom. And it was the first day for Max. The first day for me. Yeah, it was the first day for both of you. Yeah, like he just came there. Like he could have went to another school. But I mean, the chance really of yeah, all the schools in Montreal, they end up together in this classroom. And there's only seven kids in total in this class. So that was pretty awesome. And I, I want to tell you about this book here which is called A Pair of Miracles. I also by... met another person that was at St. Gabriel's um, three years ago. Yeah, you met a few people there. Yeah, her couple. name was Claudia. She left in grade four. Like the start of grade four. Like the first days or weeks. 
I want to just tell them a little bit about this to finish like what we're talking about. Yeah, so there's another person, maybe more that he knows there. So I just want to tell you about this book here. It's called A Pair of Miracles. It's by Carla Akins. And Carla, uh, I, I just want you to know I'm not paid to like bring up this book and tell you about it. Carla sent me a copy of her book. It says here, a story of autism, faith, and determined parenting. And these are her sons, twin boys who she adopted when they were babies. It turned out they had fetal alcohol syndrome, microcephaly, uh, autism, and uh, intellectual disability. And she only knew that they had fetal alcohol syndrome. You know what? She did know. I'm saying that, Her... they, that she only knew that Oh, okay. That they... Right. She only knew they had that. She didn't fetal know the extent of syndrome. what they were going to have disability-wise. Like, yeah. But, well, let me tell them, sweetheart. So, but what happened was Carla... Um, She's a Christian, and she really leaned on God a lot in raising her boys, and she got through this um, on a, on a lot on a, on faith. I mean, her faith played a really big part in her journey, in their journey, in her parenting experience. And I mean, like as you see, she raised two fine young men. It it turned out okay. They turned out all right, and Carla got through it. And she took all this great experience that she had, and she put it together in go this get book. Strong, okay? Okay. I'll be back. She put it together I'll be in back this book. With you, um... Okay, so Carla talks a lot about her walk of faith. She gives you a lot of Bible verses. She talks about her experience. Come sit down, babe. We're almost done. And um, I just want to read you a little part here. This is something that I found it really, really applied to this situation. Okay? And it says, God always acts for the best. Is God up to something good? You better believe it. And she quotes uh, a song from Nancy Honeytree. I'm going to believe that you are up to something good when I can't understand the things that happen in my life. I'm going to believe that you are up to something good. I'll never fail or forsake you. That is what you said. Through fire and water, I'll take you. That is what you said. And when you don't answer my prayers the way I think you should, I'm going to believe that you're up to something good. And she says, the enemy of this world, Satan, is relentless, but not more so than God. While Satan intends to harm and destroy us, God is there with us in his perfect love that protects and shields us. He, provi he provides a way out from the wiles of the devil through the, the life of his son, Jesus Christ. So in this situation, this is like a really perfect example of this. We... We're having a really hard time. But what did I tell you? Did we pray about it? Yes. Did I tell you God was going to do something good with it? Yes. And did God do something good? Yes. He did. Yes. So that's why I made this video just to encourage you that when you're going through difficult times as a parent, by any time, but especially as a parent, especially as a parent, and you put it in God's hands, don't forget God is hearing you and your prayers will be answered. And sometimes it doesn't look like it. But it, during that process, you need to trust. And, and then God is not going to let you down. You're going to see he is up to something good. And in this case, very good. And we're very, very happy with the outcome. We just want to say, thank oh, you, I'm God. So for this guy. Are we happy with what God did? <clears throat> Gunnar, don't do that. Sorry. Please. <clears throat> Gunnar, let's wrap it up. Are you happy with what God did? Yes. Yeah. Do we say thank you, God? Yes. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. So I just want to let you guys know. Illuminati. And try to encourage you. What are you saying about Illuminati? Illuminati. Oh. <laughs> Illuminati here. <laughs> You're so silly. I found it. He, make it, he made I a try. I found it once again. It's so hard. To... Guy, let's get it done. We're almost it. done. I found it. I found it. We're almost done here. Okay, so we're done. I just want to tell you that. Uh, don't get too discouraged. To God, is, God is listening to you. To bring it out. Let's say let's say goodbye. And that's it. Uh, thanks for listening. And see we'll time. see you next time. God bless.